Good morning. I believe I have good news about the WHO. This is uh, according to Malcolm Roberts, this brilliant Australian MP. He says that the WHO is backing down on the treaty. You know, this idea that they should control everything. Control you, all of us. They should uh, decide if we should wear the mask or we should be locked up. They wanted a universal passport. And now they are backing down. I couldn't find this story anywhere else, but I trust this guy, Malcolm Roberts. So I think it's true. You know, they tried this earlier, uh, and the, the opposition was too big, and then they said, we will be back. We will just rephrase the treaty, and we'll be back with it. Now, apparently, they are backing down again. And maybe they will not be back this time. Maybe they will give up on this. I don't know. I think the opposition is just getting bigger. You know, I have this idea that the WHO should be just gone. Well, just get rid of it. And this is not an uncommon idea these days. A lot of people say this. Why don't we just get rid of them? We will be better off, all of us. Nigel Farage. Nigel Farage, his bank, bank account was shut down by his bank. Right? And the bank said it's a, it was a commercial decision. Well, who believes this? Commercial decision. I don't think so. You know, this is what I believe. This was just them getting back at Nigel Farage for getting the UK out of the EU. No, we're talking about top, top, top criminals now, at the very top, pissed off. <laughs> and they want to show Nigel Farage that they can do this, and there's nothing he can do about it. It's nothing to do with any commercial decision. I'm, that's ridiculous. No, they say, we are just doing this to you now. See, the EU is doing very poorly. They are close to bankruptcy. And these criminal assholes, they partly blame Nigel Farage for it. And they want to get back at him. That's my theory, anyway. So they can do this. Oh. So, does it mean they can do it to you? They can do it to me? Of course. I, they are just waiting, maybe, for this uh, central bank digital currency. That would be the end of freedom. Well, freedom will still exist, but we have to go. We have to go away from the system altogether if we want freedom in the future. We have to get away from their currency, you know, and start paying each other with the uh, stuff probably, but the border system, right, so uh, also want to mention this, uh, there's now talk about civil war in France, this was from the police union, they declared there's a civil war, it's us or the violent minorities, they say, there are reports on the French police losing control over the streets. You know, I said this, actually, years ago. It will start in France. And maybe it's now starting. Oh. What's the idea? Well, I don't know. You know. France should convert to Islam. Maybe, that, maybe that's one idea. Or the state getting more control. Maybe that's another idea. I don't know, but it, it doesn't look good. Who wants to go to France now for a holiday? Well, I'm sure there are nice parts of France that are still very nice. So, and I like the French people. <laughs> right, finally this, uh, there's a rumor, some rumors about Joe Biden. I just wanted to mention this. 
but he's got some physical problems. Something with his face, something with his heart, something is going on, maybe. I just wanted to say it. So maybe we'll see more about this soon, I don't know. Alright, be good.